All right, to begin, we can use these two points to calculate the slope of line k. The slope will be equal to f over e, so column a is equal to f over e. Now at this point, I'd like to write the equation for line k in slope y-intercept form, where m equals the slope and b equals the y-intercept. Now we already know that the slope is equal to f over e. We can see by the diagram that the y-intercept is equal to 0. Now since we're adding 0 here, we can simply omit that portion. So we now have an equation for line k. That means the coordinates of any point on line k must satisfy the equation here. So since the point negative f negative e lies on the line, its x and y coordinates will satisfy our equation. So we'll plug these values into our equation. And now we'll multiply both sides by e. And at this point, we can conclude that e squared equals f squared. Now, since this point EF lies in the first quadrant, we know that E and F are both positive. So from this, we can conclude that E must equal F. Now, if E equals F, we can go to column A here and replace E with F. From here, we see that F over F must equal 1, in which case column A is equal to column B, which means our answer is C.